Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some examples related to perfect square trinomials. Let us say we want to factor this trinomial. And the, this, uh, the trinomial is x to the power of 2 minus 6x plus 9. Let us say we have a problem like that. Step number 1. In here, we can write this one as x to the power of 2 minus 2 times 3x plus 3 raised to the power of 2. This is of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This is of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And therefore, if we have a trinomial of this type, we can write this one as a minus b, the whole thing raised to the power of 2. Therefore, we can write this as, we can write this as x minus 3, this whole thing raised to the power of 2. So, x squared minus 6x plus 9, we can, we can, uh, uh, we can write it as a square of a binomial as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2. Okay, so just uh, a quick check in here. Check. If I, if I were to take x minus 3 to the power of 2 and expand it out, this is the way we want to expand it. Um, x minus 3 times x minus 3. I'm going to do the long way and I, I'm also going to show you an easier way to, to do the expansion. So x times x is x to the power of 2. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So therefore, this is going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9. So x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 is x squared minus 6x plus 9, and that is exactly what we have. This is one way of looking at it. There is an easier way of solving this problem, and I'm going to show you that in this step number two. Okay, so let us write this um, trinomial down, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, so in here, we want to see, is the first term a perfect square? Yes. We're going to write the base term and then raise it to the power of 2. Is the last term a perfect square? Yes. 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And uh, what is the sign in between these two terms? Between the first and second term? That is a negative sign. Therefore, we're going to take the base term from here, from the first term, and write it out there. We're going to borrow the sign, which is between the first and second term, which is a negative sign. We're going to take the base term from the last term and then write it out here. Put an open close parenthesis around it and then raise it to the power of 2. Raise it to the power of 2. And that is exactly what we did. In, in the in the previous step but this is a lot more easier this is this absolutely does not require any brain work at all you can just I didn't I mean recognize the base term of the first term recognize the base term of the last term just borrow the sign between the first and second term and then put them in parentheses and raise it to the power of 2 and you're done x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 is is the um, is the square of the binomial of the uh, uh, and then the trinomial uh, which which that represents is x squared minus 6x plus 9 okay so in my next presentation we should look at some more examples to see how we can factor trinomials using the perfect square method